right here. Hey, I got to tell you something. Yeah, go ahead and tell me. He's my favorite car and my favorite driver. Okay. He's the man that does everything himself. The junkyard is his part store. He's racing gassers, and his son, Justin, hit the junkyard's his part store. I mean, really? he does it just like they did in the 60s. Everything you see done on this car, him and his son done it. Well, Mr. Dale, Lobuck, Mr. Lobuck, Dale Wilson. Lobuck, Lobuck, number two, Mr. Big Lobuck. Daddy. Number two, yes, Brian Olson. Nice to meet you. And it looks, and, and, and you know, at the end of the day, it looks period correct for the way some of them was in them days. We built it just like it's supposed to be built. We don't have a garage. We built it in the dirt, snow, rain, whatever. At junkyard parts, it's all spray paint, every bit of it. We lettered it. It's all handmade, made the interior. It's an old school 327, just like it was in the old days, every piece on it. The uh, moon tank came out of the uh, junkyard, dug it out of the dirt, took two hours. Those wheels came from a junk uh, scrap yard. Old Anson Sprints right there. Eight eight dollars, eight dollars for those wheels. Is that yeah, right? yeah. It's got pieces from all over on it. That's it's cool. It's just a big barred car, and I've had it since I was fifteen. Young man, your part in this thing. Uh, same as his. Everything we done, I learned how to build a car with this. All the welding, all the paint. This is all me. Me and my dad, we go out every weekend, work all weekend long. Learn how to do it like they did in the old days. No machine and none of that. You just bend stuff. You find stuff off old cars and you weld it on there and you hope for the best. You know, just put it together. Do what you can do with what you got. I got to tell you what. We may have three second race cars here this weekend, but I promise you, especially if they allow me to be on the PA when it happens, I promise you this will be one of the funnest things we've ever seen in the PDRA. I had the chance to be around this guy for a long time. Look, Lakewood Roll Cage. Yeah. Roll oh, my gosh. Oh, three point bolt in. Three point bolt in. Yeah, that was thrown. My brother had that. This in. car was paint bombs. It's all done with spray bombs. That's what he just said. Isn't, isn't that something? But yeah, I think and you're right. I think the three second cars are here, and we all love to watch them. But we're trying to give air. The, the gassers were the pro extreme cars in 1965. They were the fastest door slammers in 1965. So we're showing the fans what pro extreme was in 1965 yeah, what it brought it to today's level hey now so they're going to get to see what pro extreme was in 1965 this weekend and they're all going to so get to see what pro extreme is in 2014 that's awesome quain Stott, i gotta tell you what folks hang tough it'll be a couple hours before we get to running them but when we do get ready it's going to be a whale of a good time and for you folks on Facebook, you're going to get to see this whole interview, this whole thing over and over and over. Because not only are we rolling it now, but we're going to roll this thing on Facebook. And we're going to watch this thing get literally thousands and thousands of likes. Hey, we're having a great time at the PDR. Did I mention it's a little bit hot? Can you tell? It don't matter. We're having a good time. We'll catch up with you in a little bit. Back to the tower.